put an Australian lens on Just a little bit about our company, Australian Vanadium Limited. Uh, we are a emerging vanadium producer in Western Australia. We are, have a vanadium titanium magnetite deposit in central Western Australia, and uh, we have access to the port of Geraldton. So at the same time as developing our project, which will come online in end of 25, 26, end of 25, we have been actively developing the vanadium redox flow battery market through our subsidiary, vSun Energy. The purpose of vSun Energy is to provide a range of um, identified market targets and identify the offer a range of VRFB products to the market as we develop this uh, opportunity. Western Australia and Australia generally is a very, very good place for the deployment of vanadium redox flow batteries. Um, from a decarbonisation point of view, this is because many, many parts of Western Australia operate uh, on diesel only uh, networks. So there are a number of segments that we see active in this region. Agriculture, which again is uh, entirely driven on um, fossil fuels. Uh, the mining systems, all the mining projects are off the grid. Most of them are off the grid in, in Australia. Therefore, they, they rely on diesel and gas um, for all their operations. So perfect for replacement by solar and large-scale energy storage. Then on the grid, we have commercial, industrial, and other utility-scale storage as we look to decarbonize the grid. So anywhere where diesel is being used 100% is a perfect business case for the use of VRFB. We have a growing electric vehicle fleet and some very, very long distances. So VRFB is ideal for a remote charging locations that are entirely solar driven. And in the residential market, um, there is definitely a need for a residential system in Australia because uh, almost every Australian household that has at least four people in has solar panels on their roof and no storage. So far over the last, um, five or six years, we've worked with many of these producers, the very producers that have a presence in some way or form here in Australia and are increasingly developing more products for sale. Um, we've been working closer with some than others, but pretty much we've had contact with everybody here. And um, we see them, what the very exciting part is them each developing new um, avenues to, to work inside Australia. Uh, we installed this VRFB, our first one, um, in 2016 on a farm south of, uh, of, of Perth, the city that I'm calling you from. Um, and that battery is still working uh, with no issues after this time. Um, and, and it's a very exciting uh, time to have these systems starting to be deployed. Um, in terms of our projects uh, within vSUN, uh, which is a 100% owned subsidiary of Australian Vanadium, uh, we're working on a number of projects at uh, the Water Corporation, a standalone power system, a mine site pump application with uh, a mining company, and we're just uh, taking delivery of a battery for an orchard, which is, again, a, an application, uh, a, a, remote, a agricultural application. Um, there are many opportunities in, in Australia for this system, and I'm and not ex inclusive, exclusively for our own purposes, but... The water is a remote water using renewables is a very good opportunity for energy for long long duration 24 hour energy storage, and the system that we're putting in to mine site is ideal for this sort of um, application and shows people the capability of being 100% renewable using a only only using a vanadium redox flow battery. So just a list of others, not only not only through vSUN, obviously through many other companies doing their own work. And this is the exciting part is many of the uh, VRB manufacturers are appearing here. Um, so we have batteries appearing all the way through the country for different, and some of these are announced. Um, some of them are very large. And that's the other very exciting part is the trend towards larger systems. So just to give you an example of that, um, Yanamolka is a project in South Australia 
that is looking at putting a two megawatt, eight megawatt hour system. This is partially funded by a government uh, renewable energy agency um, and be paired with solar solar energy. That's a, a frequency control solution. Um, Cellcube have history in the country and are recently, we know that they're working very closely with um, a utility called North Harbour Clean Energy, which have a strong interest in vanadium redox flow batteries to develop their first battery next year, which is a four megawatt, 16 megawatt hour system, followed by um, increased orders for up to a gigawatt hour, up to 800 megawatt hours. Pictured here is Maria, who I believe is speaking later. And uh, it's always good to have Maria on any vanadium redox flow battery forum discussion um, as the founder of our industry, if you like. I mentioned pumping as a great opportunity for multiple product products. Pumping water and eliminating emissions of pumping water is a good opportunity. And then mine site penetration. Many mine sites around Australia are seeking for their shareholders to become 100% um, renewably based. And in order to achieve that, long duration energy storage is the only application that works for them. Short duration um, lithium mine based storage can only get them so far. So it's really important that large scale VRBFBs are able to fill this space. They have the added benefit of being safer for mine site operation and also being very much um, more uh, um, suited to high temperature environments. Obviously in Australia, the, the grid is getting expensive. The country is uh, looking to reduce its reliance on fossil fuel generated energy uh, from coal and gas. And as such, the, there's a very strong push by the federal government to deploy large scale uh, gigawatt hour scale uh, energy storage systems. Uh, we have a long way to go to prove the viability of, um, of vanadium flow in, in Australia because it is not known. Um, but that's really one of the key uh, op opportunities in Australia is to keep working with government and the utilities to get proof of concept projects in place. As I mentioned, the VRFB domestic is a very strong area for us. Just so an example, this is a Tesla we charged with um, uh, VFlow Tech 530 that we have in our uh, in our in our in our project. Um, very exciting use for the Australian environment. So EV charging and deployment is a big business opportunity on its own. Uh, in conjunction with other battery systems. Uh, I'm sure I don't have to, to tell the story, but EV charging is a is a global phenomenon that needs to be attended to across the world. And we're very excited by activities in, in, in India um, and across Europe and, and in China. Just before I close up, one of the things, and uh, Mikhail mentioned this earlier, um, the most productive way the most economically sensible way to deliver flow batteries in Australia is by the delivery uh, or the manufacture of electrolyte in country. So that would imply the either the importation or manufacture of vanadium powders uh, of a high purity um, into Australia and then using uh, electrolyte manufacture onshore to minimise transportation costs. So our company, AVL, announced yesterday that they'll be building a small modular plant here in Western Australia, not large, um, 33 megawatt hours as a starting position. Um, but the modular nature of that design, uh, which we've uh, got under license from US and ADM in the US, um, we will be able to roll that out uh, exclusively across all of Australia where, where we can locate electrolyte capacity in the markets where it is needed. Now, um, we think that other activities happening elsewhere in the country around electrolyte are very, very exciting. And it means that the market is starting to show signs of supporting the vanadium flow battery industry by the production of, of electrolyte. And um, uh, we must be careful not to put the cart before the horse. Uh, we need to develop the market uh, with OEMs. Uh, one thing I'd be very interested in hearing from uh, in the rest of this presentation, and, and I see um, some other presentations coming up. For my end is that the, the quality and supply of, of vanadium redox flow battery systems from China looks like it's accelerating rapidly. And this is a, 
this is an ideal market for export market for those um, those manufacturers to make contact with us uh, and look for opportunities to deploy here. And as an as a vanadium supply company uh, with with no with access to electrolyte technology in Australia, we feel that we can definitely have conversations and grow that space. But not only for me, but for other players in our space. Uh, we think that Australia is a great place for VRFB. Uh, we encourage everybody, not only on the manufacture of new vanadium units, uh, but also on, on in bringing technology into Australia that can be deployed widely. We think it's a good market and good margins to be made. Um, very exciting. Um, thank you very much for your time. Hopefully that was clear and concise from my end. Uh, thanks a lot, Vincent, for your story. Now we have a few minutes for Q&A. So here, Mr. Zhao has a question. I recently used a lot of projects in Australia and in multiple functions, like EV charging and the combination with uh, uh, PV uh, and grid use. Yeah. Can you share some information about the price? per kilowatt hour of this project. Do you have some information about that? Um, it's obviously very difficult to talk about price, but we're operating on the price that global global vanadium uh, producers supply us with. Um, at the moment, as a the the we've split the project the, the problem into two parts. One is the price per kilowatt per kilowatt hour of vanadium units. Um, we're still working on um, whether we know that's correct or not, about a million dollars a megawatt hour. So I think Aussie dollars, but that's a that's a figure that is very uh, unclear. That includes electrolyte. But um, the truth of the matter is we need to look at uh, the lowest cost of battery cost and the lowest vanadium electrolyte cost in the combined project. So it's very hard to answer that question. But we, we do try and get quotes from battery companies when we submit a project um, for costing. And we get that from as many companies as we can. But we're still in that same number. Separating vanadium electrolyte from battery cost is very important uh, for everybody, I think. Any questions? <laughs> 